Hi there, you are watching evoke.ie and we are here today with Gronya Shoga, who has dropped in to tell us all about her new venture, Grace Diamonds. Hi Gronya, how are you? Thank you, Laura. Thanks for having me. No problem. So tell us about how this venture came about, because it's a very new departure for you, isn't it? It is, but although it's been two years in the making, I've been training behind the scenes in South Africa for, for that length of time. Um, it started when Leon proposed, and he proposed with the loose diamond, which is f traditional there, but unusual here. And then we designed the ring around it, and the people who made it did such a great job of making the ring and it was such a wonderful experience for me and a very romantic one that Leon and I started to talk about it afterwards because when we had our engagement party in Ireland and the reaction to the ring was so lovely as well and the story behind it we started to talk about it as maybe a business idea and I started training and two years later here we are. Is it nice to for one to design your own ring with mm. your future life partner yeah. but also to be able to show off something that you've created yourself from literally the bones of it just you had one diamond and yeah. then it's materialized into this exactly that it's a wonderful wonderful experience and when i look at the ring that's what i see i see love i see thoughtfulness i see um creativity i see something that really bonds us there are values in this ring that have nothing to do with money or um carrots of diamonds it's to do with our relationship and um, that to me makes it twice as special as if as if I went into a store and bought it off the shelf. So you launched Grace Diamonds last month in New York? In October. In October, yeah. pardon me, in yeah. October. In so New York. With Don O'Neill, I mean I know you've collaborated mm. with him in the past. Tell us yeah. a little bit about the launch, it must have been very exciting materialising after two years of work. Exactly, it was it was one of the most exciting things I've ever done in my life to appear in the epicentre of the bridal industry and bridal fashion industry. And Don is so well known, so well liked, so popular in America. So we brought over the collection. I met him um, the summer beforehand and he said, why don't you design a collection that'll go with my next collection, the spring, summer 2017 bridal wear. And it was just such a wonderful challenge to be set and a wonderful privilege to be given and a wonderful opportunity to be given. So when we arrived over, we had Skyped and chatted about designs and we had done sort of um, mock-ups of the pieces to, to make sure that he was happy, that everything there was a flow and everything worked design-wise. And we worked so hard on making something that would really work for him. And then all of a sudden you're there and the editor of Martha Stewart's Weddings is beside you and the editor of the Not.com is on the other side. <laughs> And then this huge bank of photographers and all of a sudden these beautiful models in stunning gowns are walking out wearing your earrings, wearing your rings, wearing your pendants. Well, it was so emotional. Is it a very pinch yourself moment? Oh, absolutely. Somebody took a photograph of me sitting in the fro <laughs> and there you can see the tears in my eyes. It was, it was such a proud, proud moment and to launch on the world stage like that was just a wonderful, wonderful experience and I'll forever be grateful to Don for giving us that opportunity.